Okay, so uh, just bought this on eBay. This is a Nintendo 3DS. Um, the description of the unit says that the control port, sorry, the charging port is faulty. Um, don't actually know what's wrong with it, but um, basically what I've done is I've bought this and I've bought a charging unit as well. Sorry, charging port as well. So I'm going to try and basically take that out and replace it with a brand new one. Uh, the unit cost me £39.57p and then obviously £4.50 postage there. Um, what that is in dollars, I have no idea. Uh, should be with me in the next couple of days. And then I'll try and show you this as well. Um, so I bought the charging socket there for one pound ninety nine free postage. All right, so I was just in the process of taking a PS One apart, and the uh, postman knocked and brought me this, which I believe is the DS. I've got nothing else in order, so it must be the three DS. So I'm gonna put this back together. But I'll do what I need to do with this, and then um, but open that. So this is what came through the post in a uh, Acer Iconica One Seven box, some kind of tablet I've never actually heard of. Um, it's in decent shape and it, what is it has a 2 gig SD card with it, which is awesome. They always come in really handy. Uh, oops. So the console itself is in pretty good shape. A couple of scratches on the front. Um, it does power on. It shows that the uh, console needs charging but it does power on and 3D does definitely work um, so what I've got here is well this is my this is the one I got today this is my 3DS um, so on the listing it said that the charger port was was broken and comparing the two you can see in there there's like a little plastic, I guess like a retainer thing, um, it's missing from this one, so I've got my charger here, <clears throat> so let's go plug it in and see what it does, if anything, and the charging light doesn't come on, let's put this on here, the charging light does, it's a quick update on this 3DS, so the charging port does work on, um, on here, this is my old 3DS. The one I've got today kind of comes up with this um, flashing orange light. Um, just The uh, red light, that's the red light there. It's kind of showing a bit orange because I've got the flash on my camera. Um, and that one's a flashing orange light which doesn't tell me good things. Okay, here I have the broken 3DS. The uh, messed up charging port. Um, and here I have a replacement unit. This I picked up off eBay for two pound with free delivery, so very cheap. So what I'm going to do is dismantle this and um, desolder it, the uh, broken charging port, replace it with the new one. And uh, I just thought I'd document the process and show you how I did it. So first things first, we need to take off the bottom of the uh, cover. Just a very simple task. Oops. That's that off. And then take out the battery. We'll use this to keep all the bits and pieces in. Right, so after we've got this out, we need to remove the uh, screws that are in here. Um, looks like I might need a small screwdriver. So there's one down here. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. One just there. One in there. here 
and one in this corner here. And then we have more screws there, 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 and then one here. This isn't a screw, it's just a recessed um, plastic mould. And these are all just Phillips screwdrivers, um, small Phillips screwdrivers obviously, but um, there's no uh, tri-wing driver or anything like that for these, which is nice. So you can just take it apart with a small crosshead Phillips screwdriver. This one here is tiny. There we go. Really, really small screw, this one. So that's all the screws out. Um, we just then lift out the the bottom unit. You have on the bottom here, I don't know how best to show you, two very flimsy uh, ribbon cables. One down in the bottom corner here, and one where my index finger is just over here. These need lifting out before you do anything. Um, let's see if I can drop the camera to show you. Small flathead screwdriver just to lift out the ribbons there, that's one. That's two. Okay, now I have this apart, I can see what the problem is. Um, previous owner, um, it looks like, well, basically the entire left hand side of this is, uh, is not soldered down. Pin 2 is kind of up in the air. Um, pin 1 and 3 are, on, are definitely on, but 2, 4 and 6 are making absolutely zero contact, so that will be why it's not working. Uh, so what I'm going to do now um, is get my uh, helping hand out, my uh, soldering hand out, and then get my soldered iron out, and then I'm going to remove this. Um, and basically we're going to have to put this one on. I, there's no way I can really salvage this. I mean, like the, the inside is, is knackered anyway. So it's going to have to be a complete replacement job by the looks of it. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know what kind of pressure you need to put on this thing to, to completely um, break the solder, but something's just happened there. And you can see the gap on the, on the final pin just there. There. Right, anyway, so I'll get my helping hand out and uh, get the solder iron out and see if we can take this apart. Okay, so I've got my helping hand and the uh, magnifying glass um, attachment on there. The uh, solder iron is nice and hot. So, just to go over again, what we're going to do is we're going to take off this entire unit. So, we need to desolder these six. So there's um, six um, pins. Number six there, number four there, and number two is there. I'm sorry, the light's really poor, so let me just get my head torch on it. And then number one is there, three and five. And the five looks like it might be a bit tricky because it's next to this. Um, screw hole. So we basically need to get rid of, take all of these out. That's going to be a bit of a problem I think, but we'll have Sorry. a go. I couldn't do that on camera, it was too difficult to do on camera, so I'll have to do it off camera. So basically what I've done now is I've desoldered each of the points, and it's just hanging on by the piece of glue, so I'm going to take that off. So now what we've got is obviously a gap where the charging part was, and six pins here. So yeah, I'm going to be using some, this is just uh, one mil 
uh, solder. And what I'm going to do is tin each of the, excuse me, tin each of these points. Last thing you want is these to be, uh, you know, solder to be running from pin five into pin three. So I'm just going to do that again off camera and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've got this kind of, uh, well, it is repaired. <laughs> it's not the neatest of jobs, but uh, it's in. I'll get my light on it for you. So, um, yeah, each part is now fitted in. It's not exactly flush, but it's uh, just about that. Just focus in. There we go. It's, it's not perfectly flush, but... It's a decent job, and there's a massive bob of solder on pin six there, but uh, sorry, pin five there, but never mind. Um, so that's all been uh, fixed up. What I'm going to do now is just pop the uh, little ribbons back in and see if it works. As you can see at the top corner there, top right corner, we have a charging light. So that's successful at least, and I'm just going to try it with my cradle. Pop that in. Yep. And again success. So that is how you replace the charging port on a Nintendo 3DS. Thanks for watching.